So rumour has it, Arthur Bryant's is the original place where burnt ends became a thing. It's not even my birthday, and you're taking me for burnt ends for breakfast. Why can't I have a name as good as that? Can I get half a pound of burnt ends and uh, order of fries? That's hey, it. Uh, bro! Bro! Apparently people order more. The breakfast of presents. Oh man. Oh man. Well that was a lot better than just Googling the most Instagrammable locations in Kansas City. So we're just up here now trying to take in all of what Kansas City has to offer. And it's a lot. I mean, look at that, that's just like a power transformer. <laughs> and it's more colourful than Ben's t-shirt, which is, you know, surprising. Yeah. This is a cow. This bit here is where brisket comes from. The brisket is a tough bit of meat, so it requires long, slow cooking to break it down and become uber tender. Brisket will usually have a rub applied to it before cooking. It is then smoked on a barbecue over wood for around 16 hours. Burnt ends come from the point of the brisket, which is this bit. You can see it actually goes down into a point. They literally are the burnt ends of the meat and used to get thrown away because they were so tough. But now they cook for longer so they're not tough and are actually incredibly tasty and tender cubes of flavour. Unfortunately, this isn't my tattoo. Yet. We were ready to get out and find those game-changing bird tens, but first, we thought it was best to get some recommendations from some locals, you guys. And one place kept coming up. I personally like Joe's a lot, Casey Joe's. Joe's. And Oklahoma Joe's. Oklahoma Joe's. Joe's. Oklahoma Joe's. I think it's called Joe's KC now. That's the best place to go when you're in Kansas City. So we put Joe's into the GPS and ended up here. A gas station. With a barbecue restaurant in it. This is still a fully operational gas station as well as a barbecue joint. Uh, but the barbecue joint keeps taking over and getting further and further into the gas station bit. Anthony Bourdain had Joe's down as one of his 13 places to eat before you die, so he felt we we're onto a winner here. What self-respecting barbecue joint would put a vegetarian sandwich on the menu? We would, that's who. It's a smoked mushroom burger. You get that then, mate. Now we have a little VIP tour around the back of this place. Doug very kindly showed us the kitchen, smokers, and explained what he thought was the key to KC Joe's success. It, it's science, not art. I mean, there was art in creating the, the seasonings, there was art in creating the technique, but once that technique and those seasonings have been dialed in, it's got to be done the same way every day, day in, day out. Consistency is everything, and um, we, we really just try to adhere to our own standards. <laughs> this is like a symphony. Everybody's got to work together to produce the same music the same way, day in and day out. Ebbers was loving it. <laughs> Again, once you've got it perfected, it, it works. I'm happy with logic, system. Is that how you ended up with this t-shirt? What's wrong with this t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and they did offer for us to skip the queue, but as Brits, there's nothing we more love than, than queuing. I love a queue. So you're almost here to the promised land. We're withering. We're, We're nearly <laughs> there. So what are you going to get? We've got a Z-Man, the Carolina sandwich, half pound of birds and the full slab ribs. And Ben's t-shirt was continuing to attract attention. It's very colorful. Me, myself, I wouldn't be leafy enough to wear it, but... So he was taking extra precautions. I don't yeah. want to drip any barbecue sauce down it. No, it's that new. would be terrible. <laughs> It's so tender and juicy, it's incredible. The thing with these burnt ends is you get that instant kind of sweetness of beef fat and then as you bite through you get to the bark, which is obviously smoky, it's been smoked for 16, 17 hours, but not like acrid smoke. It's kind of sweet smoke with the herbs and the spices and the sugar rub and the whole thing just melts away and I tell you what, with Joe's barbecue sauce, which gives it a real kind of tomatoey tang, it's a dry pork. Not a little, yeah, leave it there.
The saying goes, quit while you're ahead. And because we're such nice guys, we bought Ben an outfit that was a little less in your face. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> no, it's great. What do you think? I mean, I, I like this. It fits. This. They fit. <laughs> And now he was appropriately dressed for this. Over 200 registered fountains in <laughs> Kansas City. Uh, the only city in the world that's got more, I think, is Rome. Look, here's a list of them. The A's, the B's, the D's, the C's. Welcome to Fountain Hunters. <laughs> An actual fountain. Here's a fountain. Not a fountain. Not a fountain. One more fountain! The fountain! Excuse me, sir, do you have a... They didn't even see me coming! <laughs> was there, what was there it was a one in reception! There's a double fountain! See? This is a fountain! <laughs> it's a fountain! Multiple fountains! <laughs> more fountains! Fountain! Fountain! Dry fountain! Another fountain! Another fountain! Turns out fountain hunting is exhausting! <laughs> <laughs> in 35 degree heat. Give your special lady, friend or companion an evening to remember and show them how much you love them with a romantic ride on a Venetian style gondola. Enjoy snuggling up to each other as you gaze over the water and see Kansas City from a whole new perspective. Kansas City is a city but more than that it feels like a community. Everything's very local, everything's very crafted. The moment we speak to anyone, they want to know where you're from, what you're doing here, and they've always got 101 things to recommend, and we've just felt so welcome. Yeah. Obviously the food is pretty central to everything we've been doing, barbecue's amazing, but there's so much else we've come to find today. But combine that with the people and the fountains, and it is an incredible, <laughs> incredible city. Uh, <clears throat> more barbecue? Always more barbecue. There's always, always more time for more barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Your time